Hello, welcome back to League of Legends. Some Arams again, as always. Uh, I'm playing Athelios this time. So it should be a little bit exciting. Just my way of playing Athelios is nice and simple. Spam buttons. Pretty much. Anyway. So yeah, let's get going. We have a the new guy. I can't remember what his name is off the top of my head. Achille, Fiora, and Nidalee, the spear chucker. So that'll be interesting poke from them. They have a brand, Hecram, TF. Who they got? Karzix. I wish I'd open up the uh, thing at the beginning so I could give myself an easier, easier idea. But yeah, I can see four. Trying to stun me there, but I can get some damage down on them. And there's a Z as well, so that's the five on the enemy team. Looks like they may get first blood, though it was very close to being brand right. Hecram gets first blood there. My house reasonable. I didn't have the range there, unfortunately. Otherwise, I could have got a kill, but never mind. He's going to go for the stun again. I don't think that's going to be enough, though. They're doing a lot of tower diving, and that's what happens when you tower dive, right? So, not to worry. What are we at? 3 2 or 2 3. Bit of damage down there on TF. I haven't quite got the damage, but got the range there. So we'll concentrate on keeping the abilities rotating and making sure we, we're going to need some life steal right in this game, I feel. Uh, but that's back to belief. We'll see. Hopefully we can get fed. 101 I'm happy with. But I do keep missing them skill shots, which is annoying me watching it. I don't actually remember it so much in terms of the game. But now I'm seeing it. It's actually triggering me how close they are, but still not there. Fiora blowing up very early on, and a kill, an extra kill there from me. Nicely done. In terms of the score at the minute for an early game, we're only two minutes in, right? And it's six and four, so this is going to be a it's going to be a brutal game, though. This you could argue there's quite a few assassins and engages here, right? I mean, we've got an Achille, we've got a Karzix, but then you've got a Nidus Spear, and then engage. There is uh, the Fiora, which has got no problem going balls deep, but neither is Hecram. They've also got a Zed, which also likes to go balls deep. Hecram's dead again. Yep. So, yeah, it's, it's an interesting match, and it was an interesting match, and I think um, the outcome is fair, obviously, biased. But we'll see how it goes. Snowball landed onto Bran there. I'm not so sure you're going to go in on that though, right? It's a bit squeaky. A bit squeaky for me anyway. This new bush on that far right hand side, that annoys me a little bit. I, I preferred it when there was no bush there personally, but... A good stun down there from myself. But also, we're very close, right? So Bran... Bran has a lot of chances to... Get his uh, incinerate or whatever it's called, contrafuge. I can't remember that. Yeah, blow it, and then of course we will have some good stuff happening. I'm still up, nearly 2k gold. I'd like to go back, if possible, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know what I did that for. That was terrible, but never mind. I missed. I overestimated the range of my ultimate. But yeah, as I was saying, it's, I don't mind going back. I'm not one of these that likes to stay until I've got like 10k gold. It seems pointless. You want to go in as soon as you can with at least an item or, or two. But at least an item, right, is how I'd look at it. As long as you're not struggling for mana, as long as your health's not silly low where you can't do anything anyway, then just reset, get some items and move forward. There he goes again with his AoE. He's flashing on me there. That's bold. It's very bold and he died. Yeah, that was... I think I'd die here. Okay, two and a half thousand. Gale Force is the choice for an additional engage. Uh, an additional damage for the team. Though the team continues to melt them slightly. But Zed has gone in with an ult there. Is it enough? Actually, I'm not sure because I don't really... I didn't see who he ulted, so it may have been if it was Nidda. Else it was uh, Karzix. Coming, coming back from respawn to get that easy kill. 
and then just stack, I guess. There's no point me going out by myself, right? Although I do a lot of damage or a decent amount of damage. My, my ability is okay as a Thilios, but I am squishy. I mean, I've got 1,300 health. So it's best to wait and let the people go balls deep that are like Fiora or Achille. Though Achille kind of goes in to come out, right? She's an assassin. But Fiora goes in to stay in usually and hopefully pop her ultimate. Looking for a way in here and obviously Hecram's got the best engage for sure. And that's why we keep and kept getting pushed back actually. Without getting severely fed. Hecram has always got the best engage. That engage and ultimate there for me was much better. I'm not sure. We are low and I'm going to struggle here to keep the health up. Achille is certainly doing the work. The, the 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 bastard sword or the BF sword is certainly making a difference there in that fight for the damage. Obviously, life still would have been great too, but it's been early for that. That was a width of a spear from Lida. So TF has TF used his ult yet? He has got it right. Yeah, he must, yeah, he's had it a while. Um, not seen him use it yet though. We shall see. Everybody going, well, everybody apart from Fiora, apparently, going for the heal. Is she going to make it? Yeah. Five champ heal. Cars extract. Oh, no, that was Sekrim, right? Yeah. So, again, this is, it's, it's a case of finding that poke, finding that engage where the horse, as I like to call him, isn't going to disengage it. And by disengage, I mean do the running and knock up. Zed is always kind of the champion, yeah, like you see, he's the kind of champion that um, once you get his sights set on someone, he can go in and delete them. I mean, this is perfect for them with the poke, and you can see there a flash and an ult from Brand. Uh, I got saved by, oh, we died anyway. I got saved by his heal, but, sorry, not his heal, his shield, but then the team went down regardless. Flashing on me there, hoping for the best, but he's gonna go down anyway, right? Yep. Six and two. Six two twelve. And we can finish the Gale Force. Uh, and go for some crit. Liable to go for the uh, life steal. Which is again gonna be critical for sustaining these matches. Gonna lose a tower. The looks of it, yeah. Not too worried though. I mean, as, as it stands, the tower is the first main objective, but it's the first tower, and they usually both go down anyway, unless you get like a serious carry game or a snowball game. You will always have the tower drop. I think that is part of my, uh, still a part of my Aram God title can't remember that. I need to actually look into that and probably put some stats up on because I did have a huge gap. The horse is just constantly going in a lot. This is this is what I mean by his engage. Such a strong engage. Me there. Oh, excellent ultimate. I stunned three of the five to stop them engaging. Which of course allowed us he's, he's dead, right? Which of course allowed us to um, kill the Hecarim. TF just missing, just dodging, or I'm not sure if he dodged that, but just skirting around my ability there, the long range ability. And he's coming in with a stun. Snowball missing as well. He's getting very lucky, this TF. That was me just totally missing. I wasn't lucky at all, but Hecrim is already back. Snowballs are flying, but not landing, which is, well, when they're coming from the enemy team, is what we want to see. Karzix and uh, Zed, of course, going for the lethality builds. Hecrim again going balls deep. I'm not sure it's working. I mean, he got a kill, but then so did I. Um, we also have Zed following up, but going down also. And then TF, 
not sure yet. Good. And we're down based on the brand attack. We'll take it 90 countdown, so I don't play that champion very often, as you can see. <clears throat> 83 and 17. We're going to go for the kill with the looks of it, but... I mean, it's towers that I would be going for personally, but there we are. And the horse is back. Will he be able to get a kill? No, and Fiora is carrying like a boss. And there we go. A little bit of life steal. Demonic. Uh, can't remember. No, Vamp, Vamp, Vampirix. Something or other. Can't remember the name. Scepter, I think. Well, there we go. I'm bobbing my ult. I, I did pop the ult, but then decided to change my mind. The engaging on following on was not worth it. But, of course, there I flashed for it anyway. So now I'm right. It's all good fun. That snowball landed, but there's no way you're going to go in on that. And the horse, once again, rinse and repeat. Ball's deep. I'm dead. I'm not entirely sure that uh, Hecarim is actually helping his team more than his damaging his team at the minute for the simple fact that he is doing that which means the engage is gone he's also sort of the tank right he's supposed to be taking the damage but he's dead before his team gets a chance to do anything so and of course the damage coming out of me here is disgusting now we have the crit coming from them two finished items Brand isn't too too much to worry about. The horse likely will go in. Hecrim again, horse. Zed there just tickled me, not a problem. And the horse is dead. And there we go. He altered, but didn't do anything. Flash snowball didn't land, unfortunately. But they are on the run. Zed trying to poke down, it doesn't seem to be doing much damage. Uh, Ran probably needs a reset. I don't think he's died for a while that I remember seeing. Again, I need to probably try and tab every so often just to get a scoreboard up so that you can see, because that's the one thing missing from playing live, is that you ah, I can't show you the scoreboard and the builds and the various different things that people are or aren't doing. Um, <clears throat> I'll look into that for the next few. That ult did land, but it didn't do enough. Well, it did some damage, but not enough, so... Bran going on Fiora and actually working, though she did block Brand but didn't block TF, which is why you saw that she still died. Did they take it out of Brand there? It was a shutdown, right? Yeah, and then obviously on Nidra as well. Still not got the tower though, which is odd. That was a snowball landing, but is it going to be enough to tower die from Achilles? I don't think so. Obviously, I pulled the aggro on that. And Karzix is going to go... Oh, that was, what, 100 HP left? I'd be tilted. Never mind. So there we go. Objective done just in time for TF to get absolutely annihilated. Um, Fiora taking the snowball there. Of course they're going to go on it and the horse is going to join in. But again, this is the problem, right? The horse is going down pretty quick on his own. But he's trying to survive to be sort of a tanker and engage, but it's just not working for him. Uh, Zed getting deleted by Fiora. Yeah, so I'm doing it there, but I need to uh, hold that up for a bit longer. And that way, if I do a few of them throughout the game, it will give us something, to, something for me to elaborate on a bit better. Karzix, are you going to go on that Karzix? You are. And that didn't go very well for you. TF just got annihilated. And Karzix got annihilated. Now straight back onto the tower. But of course, I did take aggro there. But because I've got the amount of healing I've got. There's, the, yeah, it's the, the, the amount of damage I'm doing is just... And there I go, unstoppable. Excellent. Okay. So, on to the tower objective. We will try and obviously get that. Zed going in for the ult. 
it will work I would expect because she only had like 150 HP but I'm ignoring and going for the tower which we got and the kill so I'll take that and we go for even more attack speed and lifesteal so more sustain more survivability um, more engage capability that he just he just vanished before our very eyes there might be in black and white but it was still nice to see the horse used his ult there Hecarim used his ult missed it and now doesn't have the ult but he's still running down blind with two supporting also the problem you i'm seeing with the horses engages are that he's engaging out of the range of his actual damage dealers and various other team members so like now where he's doing what he's doing there's nobody close enough by to actually put damage down whereas our engages we're all in the same sort of range obviously mine specifically is the one that matters because i'm the one doing the damage right oh that is a lot yeah nicely done and that's what we wanted there's a tf all i'm assuming he's using that to see what's going on as opposed to actually going to use it for anything useful and of course, there we're going in for another couple of double kills. Nice score on the board there for me. Karzix is having a really bad day. And although we got a kill, his dust blade did make him untargetable. It wasn't enough to do anything with, I would say. And there we go. Really now, there's the ability to actually get some health back, right? Because there's no way they're going to add damage. The horse, again, just not really, for me, following suit for what he wants to do in his team game. He's just played his own game with the looks of it, I would say. TF's back. I'm guessing he's going to not last very long. Rand is also back. They're going for these easy kills, thinking they're easy, but Fiora can survive quite easily with no health, right? It's just how she's built, although she is dead. But still, it, it proves the point that just because she's on sort of 5% health. I mean, look at that. That was teleported in and altered for a 10%. Collector pop in there. The collector pop there for Karzix. Dirty, dirty weapon. I should get it. We'll go in armor pen. Sure. Contemplating life there, I think. But yeah, we've, we've scrapped the armor pen because, again, I, I'll be honest, I was just about to say, why did I go armor pen? There's, there's no real tank. The, the, the horse is dying before he gets a chance to tank for his team anyway, so why bother? Okay, I'm up. Get a part to just boost a bit of that damage and sustain in terms of... Gives you a bit of health, right? I'm sure it does. And again, the horse is already low health and dead again. My turn. Going in on there. Cars, it's to delete it. And triple kill for... Yeah, triple kill for Fiora. Double kill for myself. And that's the team gone forever. We can now go on to the tower. And in doing so, I would say, end the game. GG well played. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Subscribe for more. Or if you want to join in, take care. Goodbye.